Okay, we're talking about polar coordinates here, and really what we're going to be investigating is equivalent polar coordinates. So we've got two different examples that we're going to work with, and you know, the first one you're going to have to just kind of uh, try your best to understand, but it, it's really not that difficult. What we need to understand first is that if you have some polar coordinate, r theta, okay, where r is like the measure of the radius and theta is the angle formed, um, then the equivalent expression is negative r theta, that's one of them. Another way to think about this is that you have r with some theta difference of 2 pi. All right, so I say 2 n pi here because you can make n rotations around and end up at the same point. All right, so that is definitely a possibility. Then of course you have negative r theta plus 2 n pi. So there's really so many different ways to represent um, polar coordinates. There's not just one way where Cartesian, uh, you had, you know, an x, y. In this case, r theta, there's different ways to model it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this first example. And this is, they give us 3, that's the value for r. And then they give us pi over 4. So this is our theta. And so one way that we can write this is by saying, okay, well, what if we have 3, all right, and then we have pi over 4 plus 2n pi, all right? And I'm going to take that one to mean plus and minus, but that's fine, you know, because you could have a negative n value that would make it negative. But let's think about this for a second before we go on to the second part of this answer. You have pi over 4, some angle that's formed here. And let's say that that's it, pi over 4. And there's your 3, right? Your radius length. Well, the other equivalent way to express this, and I'll do this in another color, if you continue it this way, here's your negative 3, for example, all right? Is to determine what this whole angle is down here. All right, so what we're going to do here is basically if you have, you know this is pi radians, you're going to cut out this part right here, so you're going to eliminate this, and you measure from here to here what that measure is. So you subtract pi over 4 from pi, you get 3 pi over 4, but it's in a negative direction. So you have a negative 3 pi over 4 is the other angle that you should consider, okay? So another way to write this is a negative 3, okay, and a negative 3 pi over 4. So that's another possibility, all right? So then we look at all of the possible uh, polar coordinates, and we're going to say, well, it's negative 3, and then it's negative 3 pi over 4, plus 2n pi, and that's what we have there. So if they ask you to find all the polar coordinates, well, this right here would be a good representation of it. Okay, you're not really going to list all of them because that you'd never end, all right? But this is one way to basically illustrate that fact, that you can do n rotations, all right? Now we're going to look at one final example here. It says determine if the given polar coordinates represent the same point. Okay, this one's not terribly bad. All that you know is that your r is the same. So this checks off here. All right, now we investigate our thetas. So theta should be a difference of 2 pi. So let's just take, you know, the first one that they give us, the pi over 4. And we're going to add to it 2 pi. All right, so let's add 2 pi, but in doing so, I'm going to multiply it. I need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply it by 4 over 4. All right, and I'm similarly going to want to subtract the 2 pi. So let's go ahead and do that and see what we get. All right, so we're going to have 4 over 4. All right, excuse me there. All right, so let's see what this looks like. This is pi over 4 plus 8 pi over 4. And this would give us 9 pi over 4. And then the other one would be pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4, which is going to be a negative 7 pi over 4. All right. 
So we've got that in place as well. Well, neither of these are the equivalent to 5 pi over 4. And quite frankly, they're also not coterminal. So what we state here is, okay, so let me just put that these are not correct. They don't correspond anyway. What we can state for our answer, the points, okay, the polar coordinates, I should say, do not, do not represent, okay, the same point. Okay, and I let me let me correct this to say the polar coordinates. Okay, the polar coordinates do not represent the same point. Okay, that's the correct way to state this. All right, so again, a couple of great examples, equivalents of polar coordinates. Uh, as always, I hope this video was helpful, and remember, like and subscribe.